everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to try it Thursday. You guys, I had to share this with you. I almost pulled the car over and filmed from the side of the road because what I have discovered today is amazing, okay, on so many levels. Arby's. I know people have very strong opinions and feelings about Arby's. Most people hate it. People make jokes about Arby's. Even the Simpsons made a joke about Arby's. Okay, I personally love Arby's. I have always loved Arby's. I grew up on Arby's. I love Arby's so much. My husband makes fun of me all the time because I always want to go to Arby's. And he's like, Arby's? And I'm like, I know a lot of people don't like it. Here's the thing. They have so many options for people who don't eat meat at Arby's. And if it's one thing Arby's does really well, in my opinion, compared to other fast food restaurants. It's they know how to deep fry their food. Okay. Here's the things I love from Arby's. Their baked potatoes. So good. Their milkshakes, specifically the Jamocha flavor, amazing. Their apple turnovers, the dessert option they have. They have different flavors. Apple, in my opinion, is the best. So good, okay? Their matzo sticks. They are large. They are cooked to a perfect golden brown. They are crispy. They are crunchy. The cheese inside is melted and stringy. Even the marinara sauce they give you is a good marinara sauce. Okay? They're crinkle cut french fries. I love crinkle cut. I know a lot of people like curly fries. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. But I'm a crinkle cut girl. When they deep fry their food, they're so good at it. I've never had deep fried food from Arby's that has been undercooked. I've never had it overcooked. It's always a perfect golden brown. The oil is clean. If you've ever been to a fast food place and you take something that's deep fried and take a bite, you can tell if that oil is old or if they've used it so much. Arby's, their oil is clean. Like it's as refreshing as it can be. It's not gross. Like it doesn't leave an oily taste in your mouth after you eat where some other places I've had that. It doesn't taste burnt because I've had that before too. It tastes like a clean, fresh oil. Their food is not overly greasy either. I've gone to some fast food places where the bag is like see-through because of the grease in the food. Arby's, it's not like that. It's not dripping with grease. They do some things really, really well, okay? They also always have new things, and I know other places do too, but I feel like Arby's brings things to us that are different than other places for fast food, in my opinion. Um, I was out today, and I haven't eaten, and I was buying Arby's, and I'm like, I'm just going to stop and get something on the way home. Okay, you guys, number one, they have a few new things on the menu. Okay, one thing they had in the menu I didn't get, it's called an Arby Nader sandwich. From what I can gather, it's a roast beef sandwich with cheddar cheese sauce, Arby sauce, curly fries, and I think that was it, together in a sandwich. Okay. If you like their roast beef, maybe try it. I don't know. 
But what caught my attention, you guys, deep fried pickles. Okay, hear me out. I love pickles, all kinds of pickles. I love deep fried pickles. I have not found from a fast food place specifically a good deep fried pickle, okay? They always have issues, right? Either they're really small or the pickle inside is non-existent or there's too much breading or not enough breading or the breading is cracked and falling off before you even take a bite or the breading is soggy and not crispy or the pickle inside is really wet and not enjoyable. Like there's so many things that can go wrong with deep fried pickles. But I saw it on the board. It's a limited time only. I don't know how long it's going to be there for. It was four pickles for $4, which I thought was reasonable. Okay? You guys, she handed me the bag. They call them frickles. That's what they call them, frickles. She handed me the bag. I kid you not. The smell of these deep fried pickles was so good. I had to eat one on the drive home. They also give you a ranch dip sauce with it. I didn't need the ranch dip sauce. I was like, give me one of these pickles to try. You guys? You guys. Okay. I already ate one. Let me get it here. Okay. Let me get it. Okay. You guys. Okay. You, okay, there's four. Now, I ate one. Now, this is a bad example here because my finger went through it. My finger went through that. Bad example. Okay, so different sizes, okay? Like, okay, come on, come out. Can we just, let me put this down. Okay, can we look at this for a minute? Let's dissect, dissect this together. Here's one of the pickles, okay? It is completely coated in breading, number one. It is golden brown. Can you see that? Golden brown, okay? It's a decent size for a deep fried pickle. You can tell there's a pickle in there, okay? Can you hear? I don't know if you can hear this. It's crispy. Can you hear that? It is crispy, okay? Not only that, take a closer look. Do you see the dill on the breading? They put dill on the breading. Yum. I could immediately smell the sourness of the pickle, the dill from the breading, the saltiness, the grease, not in a bad way. That good, you know, when you smell something deep fried, it's like, mmm, great. Like it just, you guys. Okay, it is so good. I'm gonna take a bite right now because my mouth is salivating, okay? Just, you guys. Okay, did you see that? I took a bite. The breading did not fall off. I've had so many deep fried pickles. Oh my God, this is good. Where the bread, you take a bite and the breading all falls off or it's really soggy or the pickle comes out. You guys, look at that. That is a decent pickle. Not only that, look at the ratio of the breading to the pickle. It's perfect. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's so good. I'm going to put this down because I'm going to eat the whole thing. I really want to try it. You know what? I want to try it with the ranch. Hang on. Let's try it together with the ranch. Okay, they give you a ranch dip sauce. Hang on, I gotta open it up. Oh my God, you guys. I'm telling you, this is the best deep fried pickle I have had from a fast food restaurant. And not only a fast food restaurant, this might be the best fried dill pickle I've had anywhere. If I could get into the ranch, it would be easier. Here we go. I'm telling you, okay? It is good. Now I'm a sauce girl, so this is probably just gonna make it better because I like sauce. Okay, let's get a decent amount of sauce on there. Mmm. Oh my 
my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. The tanginess from the sauce with the salty sourness of the pickle and the dill. $4 for four. That's a good deal. I hate that it's only for a limited time because this is a good little snack. I'm going to put this down before I eat it all. You guys, I'm telling you, go to Arby's. Try the Frickles. They are good. Not only that, maybe try the new Arbinator they have. I think they had a few other things. It looked like they had like um, loaded uh, curly fries and loaded crinkle cut fries, like poutine style. They have so many things. And I love that they have baked potatoes because sometimes I don't want French fries. Sometimes I want potato, but I don't want deep fried potato. Baked potato is so good. As far as I know, there's only two fast food restaurants that offer a baked potato where I live in Saskatoon, and that is Arby's and Wendy's. If there are other fast food places that have baked potatoes, let me know. Those are the only two I'm aware of. They're both excellent. I really like a baked potato every once in a while. It's so good. Um, I don't eat the chili at Wendy's because um, there's beef in it, but my mom does, and she likes to get a small chili and a baked potato, and then she puts the chili on her baked potato. Like, genius, right? I'm telling you guys, Arby's. I know people make fun of it. I know a lot of people don't like it. You guys, they are upping their game at Arby's, and it is good. And the value is good. $4 for four frickles? That's the way to go. I'm telling you, today's economy, it's not cheap to eat out. And it's not cheap to get groceries. If you need a quick little snack, it is good. So I had to come in and share this with you for my Try It Thursday Arby's Frickles. I'm telling you, so good, okay? You have to try it. Let me know. Have you tried it? Let me know if you go and try it. Come back and tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. I don't think I'm crazy. I think this could be the best deep fried pickle I have ever had. Thank you so much for watching. Go to Arby's. See you guys next time.